So if you're like me and a big fan of trance and some of the newer EDM, the uh, chill step and down tempo stuff, um, this video we're going to cover how to sound like that as well as building up your improvisational skills. Okay, so two things that are going to make you sound really good are going to help with your um, technique but also going to help you with your improv skills and help train your ear. So let's just start off with this little groove here. All we're doing in our left hand is playing this low A and E. So it's fifth finger on A, uh, first finger on E. Then we're going to take that same shape, move it down to F and C, and then move it down again to D and A. So I'll play it again in time. It's going to be two beats for the this one. One, two, one, two, then four beats here. One, two, three, Four. We're going to just do that groove. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, yeah, it may sound repetitive, but that's how trance, that's how a lot of EDM works. There's not much change going on. What they're going to do, what they do is layer. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to learn what notes we can use over that groove. So we're not just playing random stuff. We want to really make it sound cool. And the nice thing about this is that simple ideas sound really cool. So the notes that we have to work with. Okay, so we have all the white keys. We're just playing an A minor, nat A natural minor scale. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then up the octave, this A. So, let's just try playing a couple simple little three note, four note grooves, or riffs, I'm, I'm sorry, riffs, in our right hand and see what happens. So here we go. I'm just going to let that marinate two times through. Now I'm just going to use A and C in my right hand. So that sounds good. So now we can add it to our list that these are notes that we definitely want to use, A and C. So now let's take C. We'll keep the note C, but let's see if we can use E. Okay? So here we go. That is sounding really sweet. So now we know that we can use A, C, and E. Those are all money notes that we can use to improvise over this groove. So now you can take all three notes. We've been doing just back and forth. We can do all three notes like this. rap artist on this track you can play it and go uh, what yeah uh. just kidding just having a little fun okay so we hear that now we have these three notes so now we have three of the seven notes that we played that we can use so now we're going to pick some notes that we maybe want to eliminate or use sparingly. So I'm going to try, we tried C and E, let's move up to the next set of white keys, D and F. Let's see how that sounds. Not as strong. On that last chord here, D and A, the D fits. So let's say we're not going to use that to start the groove, to establish our improvisation or that's not going to be our first riff. So now we have, we did C and E. Let's try and add an F in. So we know the F wasn't working last time, but let's try and do C, F, sorry, no, C, E, F, E, C. So yeah, sounding good. Okay, 
so now we can add to the notes that we want to use A, C, E, and F. Okay? So we only have those notes there that we want to use. So now <coughs> we can try another progression here. So we can go. So we're going to sue C, A, G, A, C. Okay, so. five notes that we can use. We can use A, C, E, F, and G. And you gotta just find where you can fit in the D. So five notes we definitely know. Now if I wanted to fit in the D here, I would wait till I get to my last chord, that four beat chord of D and A. And I would add that D in. So if I want to do something like that. experiment like that. So what I want you to do is if you find this is too hard, if you're just a um, beginner, if you're still you know in your first couple months, first few months of lessons and this doesn't feel comfortable doing that, if you have a keyboard and you have the ability to record it into your keyboard, try that. If not, you can just do the bottom note with your third finger. So you can go A, F, D, two, three, four, A, Okay, so I'm going to give you an idea of how we can build this progression. So it starts out really small, just a few notes, and then we kind of layer it and we make it sound really cool. I'm going to change up the rhythm a bit. So we're going to start out just like very basic. Now I'm going to switch to C and E. Add a little fill here. So this exercise is just meant to be fun, to train your ear. So don't get stressed out about it. If you make mistakes, that's fine. Just note what didn't sound right and what did sound right and keep doing what did sound right. So I hope you have fun and I will see you in the next video.